the LC and Ned Show. Hey everybody, welcome back to the LC and Ned Show. My name is Ben Flanders with Learn Create Build Academy, and joining me as always is Adam Laring with an exciting, a very exciting topic slash episode for you guys today. We're going to be talking all about how this beautiful thing called LCB came together, um, and who better to talk to than the co-owner himself. So Adam, how are you doing this week? Ben, I'm doing really good, really good. Uh, busy It would be a, probably a a word to over arc everything, but yeah, definitely excited to talk a little bit about LCB, the mission, why we do what we do. And then, you know, obviously hopefully share some nuggets with the parents that might not know something about us. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, definitely busy, but we are very excited and just a quick little, uh, thing in case you guys are not aware. Um, we are preparing for our summer classes that are going to be coming up, uh, very soon. I think we're just a couple weeks away from our first one. Um, and we are all across the United States. So even if you guys uh, have never heard of us before, definitely go to our website and check out a little bit more about our program. I'm sure we'll talk about it uh, a bit today. Um, but just see if there's a camp near you. I know that, you know, your kid would obviously uh, love it. It's it's a great experience and a really fun time that we're all excited for. So quick little little promo to throw in there before we get started. But um, if, again, if you haven't, Absolutely. make sure you guys check it out. So Absolutely. You do not want to miss out. And I will just add one layer on that. Uh, if you haven't seen it, we sent it out on Tuesday of this week, but earlier. If you haven't seen it, we have a tuition assistance program now. We're excited to announce so if, if money's a little tight in the household, we understand that. We still want you to get you at camp. So check that out. You can go to our website at the very top. There's a link for tuition assistance, and you can read and apply there. But um, we'd love to see you all at summer camps. They're going to be a fun, fun time. Yeah, for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Adam, I figure what better way to kick it off than kind of explain from the beginning. Uh, and you can be as detailed or as nonspecific as you want, but um, oh, just gosh. tell the people a little bit about our history, how you came up with the with the idea, and uh, yeah. where we are today kind of deal. Right. Well, so we're, we're going to keep this somewhat brief, right? Because I've never been – nobody's ever told me I don't talk enough, so I will shut up at a point where uh, I need to. So – Company started. So the background, real quick on the background. So I co-founded the company. I'm not the sole brain of this idea. Shane Thomas is the other, most likely, no, he is the, he is the better half of the company. Um, and definitely uh, him and I came up with the idea back in August of 2015. The idea was simple. Um, our backgrounds was in education technology. So we built STEM curriculum already for K-12 uh, institutions. And there was a huge problem where we would build something and we would hand it off to the teacher and we won't get to see it implemented at the at the classroom level. So that's really was why we started the company and said, well, we love technology. Why not see it full all the way through? So company started back in August of 2015 with uh, one camp in game design, 2D video game design here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, which is still where we headquarter um, a lot of our you know logisticals of the company. Uh, anyway, started there, one idea, camp kind of, I would say it blew up. We had 50 kids the first summer, um, which is a, a small number, but it was amazing. Um, those 50 kids came in and blew our minds with what we thought was possible. Um, also, from the parents' perspective, we didn't know if anybody would sign up. We literally put a website together in like a matter of hours, and uh, parents trusted us um, to come to camp. So that's how it kicked off, and that was, again, in the summer of 2015. Uh, from there, uh, really, the company springboarded from there. We um, Added, started adding locations and cities. Um, I believe our second city ever was Sioux City, which is like an hour south of Sioux Falls. And just started layering things onto that. Um, the big springboard for us, though, is when we realized that kids are truly obsessed with Minecraft. Like, that was a really big thing. Uh, if, if you see me at camp, I, I always joke that it's like cocaine for kids um, in a safe like way, as safe as cocaine can be. I don't mean it like that in a negative. But um, realized it was a huge opportunity there to bring – a game that children love to the forefront, but also learn off the backbone of that. And that's exactly what we did. And that springboarded our company. Um, so to jump really big forward uh, to October of 2017, that is when the company expanded beyond just uh, the Midwest. And that's when Ben, uh, Ben was actually with us before a little bit, but um, full-time Ben came on in October uh, and that got us into Charlotte and it's been blowing up Charlotte area and leaving his path of wreckage in the way. And then Shane uh, moved out to Rhode Island in um, October as well and started our branch in the Northeast um, in Rhode Island in those uh, New England areas. And we've, you know, added camps along the way. You know, we have Roblox camps, drones camps, animation, uh, a lot of nerdy things. I um, mean, we could definitely get into more of those, but 
company is definitely on a path um, to date. We're in 52 cities, 15 states, and that's of today. Um, and we definitely aren't done growing by any means. Yeah, absolutely. We always look forward to that expansion. So a uh, really quick question. I, I get this a lot from the parents that I interact with as well, but like explain a little bit about the mindset of why we travel and what kind of dynamic that creates for uh, the team and the teachers. Cause I get, I get this question a lot. They're like, well, we looked at the website, you're only here, um, you know, two or three times in the yeah. year. And um, very often parents are kind of wondering why that is. So Sure, sure. So again, yeah, everything's based out of our headquarter locations. Um, we only have three of those. So yeah, we do travel into majority of our locations, which does cause um, some some logistics with being able to go to a certain location only so many times a year. Uh, the The main idea is is it, it's a that's unfortunately just the business side of it um, of a cost, not having the overhead of having offices in our locations. But as we get more, and Ben, you're hearing this too, like you just mentioned. Um, our goal is to become champions in more of our cities. So as we grow, we're trying to go a little bit deeper now into the cities, offering more opportunities for those kiddos that you're talking about um, to be part of the Learn, Create, Build family, not just four days a month or four days a year or 10 days a year or whatever, but on a reoccurring basis. So we do some of that with our Learn, Create, Build um, live um, program where kids can sign on throughout the week and join us there. We're also looking into other models where we actually do some more hands-on learning throughout the throughout the school year. So stay tuned for that to come. But again, it is our goal um, as we continue to grow and go deeper to, to become more available to those kids in those cities that we're not um, headquartered in. Yeah, and I love that you mentioned that too, because at the end of the day, it really is all about um, exposure and, and getting as many yeah. kids as we can through camp, um, just so that we can, right. you know, our mission and our belief is to inspire that next generation. And so we're really limiting that mission if we're not going out to these places. Um, and so that's definitely something that weighs on the forefront of our minds, but also yeah. super happy that you talked about LCB Live and um, our other programs that we're investing and looking into, because I feel like that's something that definitely separates us from other camp experiences is that we're not trying trying to create just a, a one-off um, for you and right. your family. We're trying to be that go-to um, resource for you to, to get that education and that camp experience as well as, you know, more than just that, but a family that we're creating here. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's very well said. I mean, for, again, like for us is we know that like, we want to be the option for the kid or your kiddo that might not be interested in the traditional sporting activities or maybe some of the arts. Um, this can be their group for that. And we want to be able to provide that to you as a, not only a resource for learning, but a resource for community. Um, so definitely be looking forward to those things as we go. And I think, Ben, it's a, it's a, it's a good point to say uh, our growth, um, while I think some people give undue credit to Shane and I, it, it, the reason we've grown and why we continue to grow is we listen. Um, we're, we, we're keen to listening to our parents um, and kids of telling us where to kind of go. Um, as the quote is from Ring, Ring Wayne Gretzky, it says that you don't um, skate where the puck is, you skate where the puck is going. And that's how, that's how we've grown is we listen to parents about what is interesting to your kids, what would you be willing to uh, sign your kids up for. So always invite um, open conversations for that from parents. Um, we're, a, we're a small company and we definitely appreciate the uh, aspects of having conversations and listening. So, so that's a sidebar tangent, but Yep. That's why we uh, need you guys. And, and this is a great opportunity, if nothing else, for you guys to leave that kind of stuff in the comments and connect with us in another way. Yeah. This this weekly show, I mean, we're definitely looking for it. Uh, I joke around all the time that Adam and Shane brought me on because I'm a little bit younger. So maybe I'm a little bit more in tune with the, the hip games that are happening and you know what the kids are into. But uh, all, yeah, all yeah, joking I mean, aside, it's, it's, a, it's a nice benefit to be able to pull from you guys and the, the parents and the families that come to camp and see... Um, beyond our reach, what is, you know, you guys are interested in or what you want to be uh, learning in technology. So precisely. Yep. Well, I, I got a question for you, Ben. Yeah. Um, we, you know, I think a lot of us, we get asked a lot of time of like, what do we do? Right. And I think the boring definition is host technology camps for kids, but I guess maybe for the parents is, is that what is your draw? Uh, I mean, you invest a lot of your time, your life, your effort into Learn, Create, Build. And of course, we appreciate that. But I think it'd be good for the parents to hear of like, like, wh why do you join Learn, Create, Build? And why should that matter to a parent? Yeah, no, that's a great question. Um, so it's a, it's a long answer too, but uh, sure. no, there's honestly um, ever since, and this is me personally, but I'm a lot of our teachers can speak the same, but ever since I've like gotten into like, uh, like working, growing up, my personal passions, like teaching children has always been something high on my list. 
um, because it one allows me to kind of be goofy still and, and avoid that fear of growing up and being too old to have fun. But um, really engaging and modeling that next generation is going to come up behind us is just something that's always been on the forefront of a passion for mine. Um, and so these camps are just not are, are such a good opportunity to do that. Um, and it's always so fascinating to me, like at the camp to see you get such a clear gauge of where this generation is sitting um, because these kids and what they're saying and what they're doing and like uh, what the cool things like we mentioned before are like for their their generation. It's always such a clear meter to see kind of where um, in general that that. Uh, that age group is sitting and so one that's that's pretty fascinating um, as, a, as the the next generation up to kind of see what they're uh, walking into but um, it's so much more than just like teaching them too it's it's honestly like building the relationships with them and seeing like um, you know the common grounds that you have and, and the things that you have to, to pass on that's really rewarding experience to be an LCB teacher um, and, and it's just fun I mean it's, it's hard to describe it exactly unless you've seen a camp but to get in an atmosphere where everybody is there because of a common um, binding uh, thing it really creates and drops boundaries between uh, kids who may not be as social um, and everyone kind of just gets along and, and joins together under that mission so uh, for me a lot of it is inspiring and teaching that next generation but um, building relationships and having fun with the kids is honestly a really rewarding part of the job um, as a teacher at LCB for sure Perfect. No, I think, I think that's well said. Um, and I, we obviously, I appreciate that. Um, you saying those words too. So, um, yeah, I mean, the other questions you have for me, Ben, I mean, I, like I said, I literally could talk for hours about LCB and the, the dirt, so to speak of how we've gotten to where we are. But, uh, I know people have uh, other things that are probably more important to them. So Sure, absolutely. Um, the only thing I can think of that you could maybe uh, enlighten our audience a little bit more about is kind of the culture that we have around here. Um, yeah. If there's any main takeaways you have or like how like what we tell our teachers to do and what we believe. I know I kind of covered a little bit of that. but um, Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, again, I think that this is a, a long answer. The, the short of it is, is we, we were strong on culture. I think a lot of companies can say that. Uh, and we are a work in progress with it as well. We're, we're not perfect, nor will we ever probably be. But, you know, we have a culture book that we, we, we put out to our teachers and our employees of all that stuff of what we believe. I, I think if I were to put one or two things about that, um, I think it would be to be selfless um, to what you are doing, um, helping a kid, um, regardless of the question they ask. Um, I think one of the things that inspires me and what drives my passion every day is, the, the thought of if, if you're a, a third grader, right, and you have a bad science experiment or experience with a teacher, you might never go into science ever again. Um, and I think our culture is, is we want to champion that. We want to body great experiences when you're six, seven, eight years old, because that will keep you on the path of potentially becoming a scientist and finding a cure for cancer or making the electric car more prevalent or going to Mars. Um, that generation, right? Your kids, if you're listening to this, that's your kid, right? That's your generation or that their generation. Um, and I think our culture embodies that is, is do what we have to, to keep inspiring that generation. Um, I don't know. I, th I think that's that there's, there's more inter integration of that in our culture book, but the general idea is just that, um, just inspire that next generation, um, by doing whatever that takes. Um, and that might literally mean opening a door, um, to, you know, showing them how to program a video game. So I don't know if that helps, but that's kind of where I'm, I think our culture is. Yeah, no, that's great. And I know from a workforce standpoint, I know that the entire team, though we are split across different regions, um, has been growing a lot in unity. Um, and it's cool to see that because they're pushing along the same uh, mission, right? That same goal to inspire those yeah. kids and empower the kids to make those decisions and see uh, their potential and what they really have available to them. So uh, the Absolutely. culture is just, it's cool. It's palpable. You can almost kind of feel it. And uh, it's, it's, it's awesome, you know, and we have yeah. a long ways to go, but uh, yeah. it's, it's just, it's fun what? to see like where LCB was and where we are today and, and what that looks like for the future, for sure. Uh, absolutely. I mean, you're exactly right. It's, we have an amazing team of teachers, um, across the board um, and then they embody that and the frank thing is is that our culture just breeds up weeds out the ones that don't and that's the amazing part of it is is that we are a great group of gosh i lost count 30 plus people now with all our teachers that truly believes in the same mission um, so that you know that gets us up going every day and it definitely would and hopefully you see that when you come to camp too from the parents that i was gonna say not to toot our own horns too much but uh if that's not enough reason to, to check out a camp i don't know what is so that'd be oh, that'd absolutely be awesome. No, like I said, we definitely invite you to check out camps. I mean, we, we, I, I, I'll say this, I'll toot my horn. 
there's not a better camp experience that you're going to get. Um, we pride ourselves on our camp experience. Ben can attest to it. We talk about it daily um, and hark on just little things that we need to do to improve, um, and we make those improvements. So yep. that's probably a good way to wrap up maybe LCB. Um, as always, we invite questions all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, we're pretty transparent um, with how things work, and I want to keep it that way as we go down the road, and that includes everybody who's been at one camp with us or 10 camps. It, it doesn't matter. So... Yeah, and I know we say this a lot, but just to like end cap this episode, different ways you guys can communicate. If you're on our website and you ever have a question, uh, there is a chat option that you have that'll get directed towards any number of us that can help you with your problem immediately. Um, so definitely be sure to do that. Like we we love to engage with you guys and chat that way. Um, also, our email um, we have hello at learncreatebuild.com. You can direct your emails towards there, and uh, we can assist you guys with any problems or just talk to you guys or answer any questions you may have about the program itself. Um, and our number and all that's listed on the site as well too. So there's definitely multiple avenues that you guys can uh, use to get in contact with us. Um, right. But we really do invite those questions and those ideas that you guys have yeah. because that's what we're all about. It's a people thing. So, um, it is. It's a, but just in case you weren't aware, that's there. So no, and, and too, just on just a layer is is that it doesn't have to be always camp related, right? Um, we we won't we will help you even if you're not giving us money. Uh, <laughs> You know, we love you to sign up for camps. I mean, that's the business of it. But um, even if you have questions about if this video game is safe for my kid or we have video, Ben put a great video together on how to buy a computer, um, things like that, anything in the tech world, we want to help you. We want to help you empower your kids to become more proficient and, you know, even safe with technology. So, yeah. Um, so really quick to you for next week's episode. I don't know what the topic is. I'm sure Adam might have an idea. He'll announce it or I'll announce it. But next week, we're going to have a quick little segment that is in the works so that you guys can get to know us a little bit better. I know we gave cool. brief introductions on who we are on the first episode of the LC and Ned show, but I'm talking more like specific like trivias, like favorite video game, favorite food, Ooh, favorite color, it. and it's going to be lightning round. So uh, lightning that'll round. be a fun little mini game that featurette for next week's episode, and uh, hopefully you guys can walk away with a little bit more information about the two guys that have right. been yelling at you this last couple of weeks yeah. on, on screen. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, one thing I'm going to end with, though, is I have an idea. I don't, ben, you don't even know about it. So I pushed this. This is a wheel back here behind me that we use for um, culture stuff that Ben was talking about with our employees. But what I'm going to do is if you comment on this video, uh, you can comment on YouTube. If we post it on Facebook, just comment somewhere related to this video saying, hey, I watched it. Maybe one takeaway. Keep it short. It doesn't really matter. Um, we will put your name on this wheel and we will spin this wheel. Um, we will do it live next episode and the winner we will send a 20 dollars gift card to amazon so nice, yeah, nice. just engage with us um comment what you liked about it maybe even what you didn't like about it i don't know inner improvement we'll we'll take all all entries but um we'll get your name on there um and hopefully uh you can win a prize yeah no that'd be that'd be awesome that'll be fun to do next week for sure too so cool um other than that ben i uh, yeah, you take care. We will chat next week. Um, again, make sure to reach out if you have any questions, folks. Um, we're definitely excited. And sign up for summer. Sign yep. up for summer if you're not. You're running out of time. We would hate to see you guys miss an opportunity to come join us this, uh, this year. So make sure you do it. Absolutely. Awesome. Goodbye, All everybody. Right. Thank we'll you, you guys. Week. Yep, we'll see you next time.